Hey, what's going on everyone? Dan here with my wife Britt looking at all the comments on YouTube. Hopefully she replies to some of you guys. Uh, we're hunting at a extra space storage uh, bidding on storage lockers. Uh, we didn't buy a couple of them because, I don't know, we set a limit and it went over our limit so we stopped. But we did uh, buy one storage unit a little five by five it just had a bag with uh, some shoes on a little tote and we paid 10 bucks for that well as we're almost done cleaning it out we found this on the ground and this contained a boatload of pennies well I just got finished counting all the pennies and we had four dollars and six cents in there so the unit altogether cost 11 bucks because the buyers premium so subtract four dollars from that was that give us Britt seven? Uh, I gotta count. Sorry guys. My wife's bad at math. Yes, it's seven, Britt. I'm tired. Okay. All right, but we we'll show you guys what's in the bag later. But now we're gonna go through the little tote that was in here, and already it looks very promising. There's a phone, if you can get that case off to see what kind of phone it is. Uh, I can't. Why? It's stuck. It's stuck? Ugh. You can wipe it off with a paper towel or something. No name. G, Google. Well, let me see it. Don't put it back in. I gotta show everybody. Just Google. Alright, so it has a G on the back of it don't know what that stands for got some razors calendar oh wow here give me a paper towel this one's like a little disgusting like and the screen looks a little damaged but this is a Samsung Galaxy S8 can you just wipe that off mm -hmm. Do that later. got some shaving cream another phone get that case off Come on, Britt, help me out. Like, I'm trying to make a video and you're like being all it's moody. It's broken. Okay, I still want to see what phone it is. It told you right there. It might have said different on the back, Britt. Like, come on. It doesn't. What is it? A cool pad? Cool pad. Oh. Well, all right. Well, cool. Got some deodorant. There we go. I got a lock from for when I buy another locker. A little tiny lock. A little screwdriver set. That's pretty good because that goes to the phone. But other than that, there isn't much in here except for a watch, which doesn't look that good either because stuff leaked. butter oil shell butter oil whatever it's called oof battery like exploded but other than that no more money so we might make some money on the phones uh, I'll try to plug them in see if they work or whatnot and uh sell them on eBay all right well thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll show you what's in the bag that's in the back of the truck when I get home all right bye all right well good sign is I hope you guys just saw that the little battery thing come up and now this up oh, there it goes so good sign is the galaxy phone actually works that's what you called it right okay cool so it's actually charging right now so we know that one works should we try the other one let's charge that one first okay yeah. but now it went off why isn't it charging no more your car's not on anymore it's still yeah my car's on power's on there we go
Oh, not enough battery left. All right, so we'll let that chart. Oh, there we go. Bam. Google. Powered by Android. Oh, well, sorry. The Eagles lost. Well, you lost your phone in the locker too because they lost. Sorry for all you Eagles fans out there. I don't really watch football, so I got to make fun of every team. All right, so at least this one turned on. We'll check how much that one's worth, and uh, we'll try to power on the other one. All right, bye. All right, so the phone has a password on it, so I don't know what to do about that. So pretty much the phone is useless because I don't know if you could get into it other than that. All right, we'll see what we can do. And uh, the Galaxy S8 shows a power sign also. So it's charging. Hopefully this one ain't locked also. But Britt will look up, see if we can unlock the other phone or if we could take it somewhere to unlock it but not sure if we can. <sighs> so we might not make any money on the phones, but at least we found all our pennies. All right, so this is the bag I got out the locker. Shouldn't take too long to go through it, so let's go through the, that right now. Any clothes are getting donated because I don't need clothes. What's this? What's this? Oh. Oh, we'll go through the clothes. Any nice ones? My size, maybe. Too small. 36 by 30s. Yeah, it smells like they're dirty laundry, so don't want to really go through that. Here I oh crap. There's a little more than I expected. So more clothes. More clothes. Huh. Yeah, don't need them also. Alright, so we got a book bag at least. Hopefully there's something good in there. Got a few belts. That's always good. So we'll say two bucks each on the belts. That's four bucks. Dollar a piece on these. That's six. That's seven. I usually get ten bucks for the cutters. So... Now we're at seventeen dollars. Some more clothes. We'll say five bucks on these. So seventeen. That's twenty-two. Garbage bags. They're worth at least fifty cents a piece to me. Oh, what are these? All right. So we got a good pair of Timberlands. We'll say minimum 10 bucks. So 32. Dollar for that. We'll say five bucks for these. So that's $37. Usually sell cords dollar a piece. They're nine forty. Okay, that's all good on through. We'll say dollar for the vest and uh, two bucks for that. 
so that's 43. Uh, don't know if I'll get any money for this, but let's throw that in. Wait, there you get what I need. Okay. So we're at $43. That doesn't include the phones and uh, the pennies we got. We'll say that's garbage. Alright, give me one second. Ugh, look at my beautiful face while I open this. Okay. We'll say a dollar a piece for that. So that was 43, 44, 45. Oh, shit. Look at that. An iPhone S. No freaking way. But if it's locked, it's worth a lot less. So if it's signed into, there's another phone. So we'll say $44 with the tape. And then we got a oh, another cool pad. Literally this $10 locker turned into like a hundred and something dollar locker because that iPhone right there. And five bucks for the bag, so that's $50 right there. We'll say a dollar for all these markers. There's three of them. So that's 51. Uh, so with the pennies, that's 55. We'll say uh, minimum five bucks a piece on the phone since they're locked and everything so that's uh twenty dollars all together even with the iphone so what's that sixty seventy eighty so eighty dollars uh so sixty dollars profit so far and that's without selling anything really but literally this iphone makes all the difference doesn't look like the screen is cracked or nothing Wow, ten dollars just turned into like a hundred dollar locker, cause this could be like a hundred and fifty, hundred and twenty dollar phone. All right, so I'm gonna go spread the good news to my wife, and thank you guys for watching another one of my adventures. The key thing was empty, but it is a cool hide a key, so we'll say even a dollar for that. So eighty one dollars all together. And I'll clean up the trash later. <laughs> Got other things to do. And we still gotta check out this iPhone. Alright, well, thank you everyone for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It'll help me do more videos. And we'll see you in the future. Alright, bye. So give you guys an update on the iPhone. The iPhone is locked. Uh, we haven't been able to take it to Apple yet, so not sure what that's going to be worth. Yeah, can you get the heck out that video? Like, my favorite cat. <sighs> Lost my train of thought. Well, the uh, Google phones are going to be listed for parts because they're locked and I don't know how to get them unlocked but just want to give you guys an update and also I'm putting another storage video with this one so stay tuned hey what's going on everyone so we bought a unit today for uh 20 bucks yeah we paid 20 bucks for this so, let's start seeing what there's in here. Looks like a heater. Heater will sell good. Since uh, winter's almost here. Get 10 bucks for that. Got three crates of the DVDs. Some CDs. Some costumes and stuff. This is a very simple unit. And Christmas tree, just in time for Christmas. All 
Yeah, not much to this unit. See, all this is good for Christmas. The air conditioners maybe sell in the summer. Oh, little folding table. But other than that, there's not much in here. Let's see. paperwork mm, figure out some of the guys oh, what's in there what's in there Spin work thing. All right. Well, at least I'll make my money back on the DVDs and stuff. My amusement park feels empty. Yep, empty. I don't know. Maybe sell the case. Alright, so this tote can stay because it's all paper. Work. Do, do, do. A lot of bootleg DVDs. Oh wow, yeah, a ton of bootleg. Well, like we said, we win some, we lose some. So, got a shelf, but no glass. Maybe the glass. Glass is actually right there for the shelf. So shelf's uh, well, it's, uh, 40 bucks for the shelf. All right, well, let's get all this loaded up and I'll catch you guys on the next locker. All right, bye. I also just noticed there's a small pair of kids Uggs in here. So that's very good also and they look in decent condition, but I get all this loaded up and get out of here. So this was a good $20 room. Got a nice caterpillar jacket and a pair of Uggs so far. And as I'm throwing the camera, let's take a quick look. Uh, there's a bunch of cassettes down there. All right, well, this light's ruining the video, so catch you guys later. All right, so I wanted to bring you guys back. I know it's kind of dark, you can barely see stuff, but when under here, there's a nice caterpillar. Really, lights turned out on me. There was a nice caterpillar jacket, which has all the glasses wrapped up for this shelf and the other one. So this is actually very nice, heavy duty. So I like that a lot. There's actually two of them, but one's a real nice one. One's just like a regular jacket. Oh my God, what is up with this light? All right, well, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you later. All right, bye.